Welcome to another video. We have another fun problem and I would like you to give it a shot before you continue watching this video. Just see if you can interpret what you see and see what you get as an answer. If you ever get stuck, then come back and see what it is. Okay, now the only reason you might get stuck or not get the answer is if your brain keeps treating this as an exponential function. We know it's not an exponential function. It is 3 raised to the superpower x tetrated to 2 or raised to the superpower 2. So there are two superpowers here. Don't treat them as an exponent. Okay, you notice that this 2 is not on the right, it is still on the left. So you want to make sure you're careful in interpreting the problem before you start. Okay, let's not waste time. Um, give it a shot and then continue watching the video. Let's get into it. So the most obvious thing in this problem is that we have a base of 3 and that might just be a saving grace for us. So let's say that we want to express the right hand side also in the third base which is base 3. We can do this. We can say that 3 raised to the superpower x which is also raised to superpower 2 can be written as we know that 27 is 3 times 3 times 3 which is 3 raised to power 3. Okay, unfortunately this is not an exponential equation so we cannot equate the left hand side to the right hand side but we can interpret the right hand side to look like the left hand side or interpret this side to look like this. So what can you say about the right hand side? Something about tetration. Remember tetration is also called a power tower, right? So this is a tower this doesn't look like a tower. Well, this is a tower, but we don't know how tall it is because we don't know what X is. But we know how tall this is because it's a tower of two floors, right? So at this point, I can rewrite this as a tetration. I can say that what I have on the left, 3 tetrated to X tetrated to 2, is the same thing as 3 tetrated to 2. That is the interpretation you need. So we're going from exponentiation now to tetration. That's what we did. So now obviously, because this is a, an equation, whatever is on top here must be what is here. So we can say, therefore, x tetrated to 2 must be equal to 2. See, the powers are the same because you have the same base. All you have to do is solve this. Now remember, this is not x squared, so don't take the square root of both sides. You still have to think about it. What does this mean? Well, this is a tower of x of height 2. So it means this is the same thing as saying x raised to power x is equal to 2. Now you need to solve this. And remember solving this, we will need to employ Lambert W function to be able to solve this one. And I think we've solved something like this before in a previous video. So let's just do this. How, how, what do we do? Well, we need to be able to write this. Firstly, anytime you have a, a function like this, you want to bring this guy down here because it's not easy to do anything else. So I'm going to bring this down by introducing natural log. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides, the natural log of this side, and let's take the natural log of this and the natural log of 2. So what do we have? This x comes back. You have x ln x equals ln of 2. Okay, now in order to be able to use the Lambert W function, remember that for Lambert W function, if you have a function, um, if you take, if you have a function like this where you have, if you have this, what you're going to get out of this is just this. Okay, so if you have something here times e raised to power that same thing and you plug it into your Lambert W function or the product log function, this is what you get. You get what was inside, you get it back. So that's, we, so we want to try and write this in that format so we can get whatever is inside. So here, I know that x can be written in terms of e because we need this expression e. So if I write this one in terms of e, remember that strategy that you can write 2 
to be equal to e to the natural log of 2 because this is the same because this is going to cancel this out. So we can write x as e to the natural log of x times this natural log of x. So we've rewritten this this way and this is equal to the natural log of 2. Pull this back here. You have ln x times e to the ln x equals ln of 2. So now we can use our Lambert W function. If you take the W of both sides, ln of x times e to the ln of x, you're going to get the W of the natural log of 2. And see how beautiful this comes out. Remember, you have this e to this, which is exactly what we have here. You're going to get your natural log of x out. Yes. And what do we have on the right? This. You don't need to do anything about this. So the natural log of x is the Lambert W for, or the product log of the natural log of 2. Guess what? You can plug this. Well, let's isolate x. How do you get x out of natural log? You take the e of both sides. So if I take the e of this, take the e of this, guess what I get? I get my x will be equal to e to w of ln of 2. And this I can plug into any calculator that's capable of doing this calculation and get my answer. Well, the answer to this, you can plug it into Lambert W function. Your answer is 1.56 approximately, okay? X equals 1.56, okay? Let's just stop there. And if you take this 1.56 and you put it here, you will notice that this is going to be 3 to the superpower of 1.56 to the superpower of 2, which is 1.56 to the 1.56, which is 2, which is the same thing as what we have here. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.